Hey everybody, I'm Jeff. I'm Alex. Welcome to As Good As It Gets, and greeting from board Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas. This week, or two weeks, we are doing a Trans-Pacific over to Japan, and we are in room... 12144. The stateroom has occupancy for up to three guests, and it is located on deck 12, port forward. Okay, the forward uh, bow of the ship is right there. We're uh, just walk through the uh, crew access, and we're gonna go on in. Let's go. So we just entered the room. This is an adjoining room uh, with uh, next door right there. We haven't heard any problems from that door right there, but uh, it, you do have the option for the adjoining room. We got our whiteboard there. And here I am, full length mirror. How you doing? And there is Alex, so it's a to see in there. Again, our magnetic hooks with all our uh, paperwork and information stuff. TV, and it's a good size room. So the uh, configuration of this room has the bed in the middle and then the uh, sleeper sofa by the window, by the balcony door. And here we are right in the middle of the uh, Pacific, uh, approaching uh, Japan in two days. So that is a non-articulating TV, which means it does not uh, rotate out. Here we are, got our magnetic hooks with our hats. The light up vanity, which we have off right now. Turn it on for you, and there is your desk. Now this desk can actually move out if you need to. Uh, move it out, but the uh, shelf right there stays on the wall. Again, as always, I show my uh, room tours as we uh, live in them, as we cruise, so you can actually see what it's like when you have all your stuff here. So uh, we got our uh, router uh, repeater right there. You got two shell little cubby holes right there. If it's, there's an external hard drive right there. Uh, power, you have two North American Edison 110 volt outlets. You have two USB-A outlets, and then you have one European style, if I can pull it out, uh, EF uh, outlet right there. Next to it, you have your two switches. The, the one on the left is for the vanity, and the one on the right is for your balcony door valence. All right, Alex is opening up the beverage cooler. Again, these are not refrigerators. These are beverage coolers. You can see we got it nice and stocked. Go ahead and close it up. And Alex, let's show our friends what is in that drawer right above it. You have a hair dryer. That's right, there is a hair dryer included in every room. So you do not need to bring your hair dryer. Also included in this room is a uh, electric tea kettle. So you can, uh, and it did include a couple mugs and some instant coffee and teas. You do have a uh, dresser drawers right there. Uh, I got four drawers and they're soft closing. On top you do have a lamp, which we have off right now. Got the valence light on. I'm gonna flip it off right now and show you Alex's bed. This is a sleeper sofa and he has the uh, cushions on the back off of their tucked over there behind the lamp and Alex has one of his friends that we picked up in Alaska. We were on this uh, ship last week for the Alaska season uh, finale and now we're doing the crossing. Now if uh, you want a, a little reading light or whatever on this sofa there is a light switch right here and a little LED reading light. Okay, storage is fantastic on the Quantum Class ships. Here you go. You have a, a smaller closet right there. Alex and I have our hanging clothes right there. You have four shelves and one safe. And down below you have two drawers for your clothing. And I mentioned storage is amazing on these ships because right above the sleeper sofa, you do have two storage compartments as well. And Alex is opening up that one, which we don't have anything in. Okay, bed configuration. I have the uh, beds together uh, this week because Chris is in here as well doing the crossing with us. So we got our beds together. If you want uh, your bed separated, those are two twin size beds. And what the uh, room attendant will do is they'll put the little end tables in between the beds. You do have two reading lights. And again, more storage on top, which is fantastic. We have our sweatshirts and then on the other side, we got more stuff. Another wonderful thing you have underneath the reading light is not only do you have the master switch right here, for your room while you're laying down, you do have a North American Edison 110 volt outlet as well for your phone charging, CPAP, or whatever you would like to plug in. And then more storage, you have a full length wardrobe on uh, this side so you can hang up whatever you need. And we got one of our suitcases in there, the rest of them are underneath the bed, and you have storage racks as well. 
inside that closet. And last but not least, you have the washroom. Of course, your light switch is right outside. Open it up and we have our uh, Royal Caribbean robes hanging up. So you have two hooks on the door. As soon as you walk in, you have a hook outside the shower, your encapsulated shower door right there. So it does open inwards or outwards, I'm sorry. So you have to be in the shower, uh, the washroom to get in the shower. Now on this uh, ship, you have these type of hooks inside. We've got our uh, swimsuits hanging up right there, drying. So you do not have that string, the drying string that goes across. You just have a couple hooks right there. Your Royal Caribbean all-in-one shampoo and body wash, removable shower head, and uh, up there we have our uh, premium Royal Caribbean shampoo, conditioner, and body wash as well. Those are available for Diamond Plus and Pinnacle and Suite members. We are on the ship for a month and a half, Alaska all the way to uh, Japan and Singapore, so we got a lot of stuff with us, but there's plenty of storage and room left over. So we got the three shelves right there with all our toiletries for the three of us, extra towels, vacuum toilet, and a nice shelf underneath the sink. And there is dual volt power uh, just below the light. And one cool function about these newer ships, especially all quantum class ships is, you have the night light built in that is uh, on all night. So you don't need to worry about blinding out whoever you're cruising with, rooming with uh, during the middle of the night. And it is plenty bright. And finally, by the uh, entry door, we got a magnetic hook for our CPAS cards. You do have the dummy card inside by your master light switch and the thermostat, which does just a little bit of temperature change, no problem. And now we have the curtains open for our balcony view. So really quick for safety, there is a child lock right here. You see a red color when it's engaged and you cannot even open the door. Push it down, it has to be fully closed and then rotate the handle and open. And here we are, the Western Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Japan. And here we are, you can see the uh, bridge in front of the ship, and the back of the ship, and looking down. We are a ways up again on deck 12. Beautiful view. And on the balcony, you do have a semi-reclining chair, and a footstool, a table, and a second chair with a footstool for this view. And of course on the outside you do have a rotating handle so this lock is engaged so it hits the micro switch right up here which activates the climate control inside the room heating uh, for the air conditioning or just the ventilation and then you just rotate it and in you go. Okay, placement on the ship, we are on deck 12 forward. You can see the red dot. We are very, very forward, <laughs> right below the uh, bulb of the uh, the front of the uh, hull of the ship. So if you are prone to motion of the ocean, I highly recommend against this room and move further aft in the ship and maybe down a couple more decks. On this ship, uh, this is a Quantum of the Seas, a Quantum class ship. So you have deck 14 has the uh, Lido, Windjammers 14 aft, Sun Decks 15, the uh, Fitness Center 16 forward, Adventure Ocean is on this deck. Uh, as you can see in this video, just right around the corner. So if your kids are self-signers, it's very convenient. Or if you just need to go and get them, it's right around the corner. It is fantastic. All right, thanks for hanging out with us as we take you through our stateroom 12144 on Quantum of the Seas. Now this room has more storage than you will possibly need for a standard cruise. Again, this is a uh, Trans-Pacific and we are going westbound. We've hit two pressure, low pressure systems uh, in our last uh, week we've been on board. And so we've been rocking and rolling. So again, like I mentioned, uh, when we talk about placements, if you are susceptible to any motion sickness, definitely, definitely book a stateroom that is ship center uh, down a couple decks, maybe uh, seven or eight will be uh, good for you. If you've been aboard the uh, Corner of the Seas, definitely leave your comment down below. If you have any questions about this room, leave your comment down below. And Alex, what do you invite our friends to do? Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at as good as it gets. All right, thanks for hanging out with us and we will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao for now from the middle of the Pacific Ocean, middle of nowhere. Okay. See